Ransomware attack canceled the first day of school for students in one Connecticut town. The Springfield School District is working to make sure that doesn't happen here. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Welcome to Western Mass News at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Beth Ward. Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli getting answers on how ransomware can get inside of a computer and potentially cause some big problems for schools. Sarah joins us live in Springfield with more. Sarah? Beth, Chris, tech experts we spoke with say it's as simple as opening up an email and then a PDF. Now, Springfield City officials are working to make sure this doesn't happen here in Springfield. Hartford Public Schools in Connecticut were forced to cancel the first day of school on Tuesday. This after school officials discovered a ransomware attack. That's a software that denies access to files unless a ransom is paid. Shutting down the district's computer system, a major problem as online technology is critical to learning during the pandemic. More than 200 of the 300 servers were impacted. During his weekly briefing, Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno says the city is making sure that doesn't happen here. Uh, Hartford Public School System, their uh, computer system was attacked. We have, we are already taking proactive measures in the Springfield Public School System to uh, uh, not have that happen. Uh, here. In November of 2019, Chicopee Public Schools were hit with a ransomware attack that demanded the school district pay up $300,000 to get their files back. Daniel Warwick, the Springfield School Superintendent, says the threat of a cyber attack is always there. You know, we, we have audits done and we put protections in place, not to say we're immune from a possible problem, but we have put a lot of uh, systems in place to protect us and it's something we're always vigilant on. A big question is, is how does a ransomware get inside a computer system? Western Mass News went to local tech expert Stan Prager for answers. An attachment is typically sent in an email and somebody opens that attachment. It's usually like a PDF attachment or something of that nature. Um, it then re releases malware into the computer um, and uh, it's not detectable. It has to encrypt all your files on your computer so that you can't open them. He says there is no cookie cutter approach to protecting a school district from a ransomware attack, but a good way is to have a computer system backed up. Okay, make sure you've got a good, strong IT department protecting you. Secondly, make sure you have a good uh, backup process in, in place that includes redundancy. In other words, make sure you've got multiple levels of backups. So if your current files become encrypted and then your backups become encrypted, you have another backup to go to. Students in Hartford are expected to go back to school tomorrow, and now the FBI is investigating. As for Springfield, students go back, don't go back until next week. Live in Springfield, I'm Sarah Grunelli for Western Mass News.